Hey guys, how are you? Martino here. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I want to talk to you about a really great technique that will maximize your practice time. So why do we practice? If you think about it, we practice because we want to get better at the things that we're not able to play yet. Okay. So the last thing you want to do when you practice is waste time. Okay. You're practicing because you want to get better at something. Okay. So in today's video, I want to show you how you can do that. Ready? Let's do it. Now, let me ask you something. Um, have you ever said something like this to yourselves? Like, I wish I could practice more, but I just don't have the time, I'm too busy. Or like, you know, I really practice a lot, I really put the effort and the commitment, but I'm not seeing any results. So the idea is that you want to be laser focused when you practice, okay? So it doesn't matter whether you play, you practice for three hours or three minutes, the important thing is how you practice okay so I want to do this something together okay so let's pretend you have one hour to practice okay you're free one hour and you're like okay now I'm gonna practice now avoid something avoid playing straight for one hour I used to do this all the time I used to just start and play and just never take the saxophone out of my out of my mouth so if you have an hour to practice you want to break that hour down into small pieces okay so let's say you have one hour to practice okay this is your dedicated time how you want to do it is you want to divide it into blocks of good effective practicing and you want to do it this way you want to practice for 10 minutes and then you want to have a break for five minutes okay so you decide on whatever topic you need to work on okay you put your stopwatch or or the phone whatever you know you put it to 10 minutes and you start practicing, okay? And you only do one thing. You practice scale, you practice that piece that you have to do, you practice whatever, it doesn't matter, okay? But you just do one thing and you try to become really good at that thing in those 10 minutes. Whenever the alarm goes off, you stop, you put the saxophone down for a second, you grab a glass of water, you take a short walk or whatever, okay? For something around between, let's say, between three and five minutes, okay? Don't make the mistake of doing the break too long okay because if you do a very long break then you're gonna break the cycle of concentration over here okay and it's the practice will just be wasted it wouldn't, it wouldn't work okay so long periods of practice broken down by a very short break okay this is amazing because it focuses you so much okay that you're not really allowed um, to think about something else because you only have those 10 minutes to to practice okay now very important thing you want to be a little bit flexible, okay, uh, with with these timings, okay? And now, I say 10 minutes, but it could be 8 minutes, it could be 12, it could be 15, okay? It just depends on, on how everything is going. Practicing is all about assessing as you go, okay? You assess as you go, okay? So if you're in the middle of something and the alarm goes off, ignore it and just finish what you're doing, okay? As long as it's not a crazy amount of... Um, minutes like 45 minutes without stopping that's probably too much okay um that's that's okay you can be a little bit flexible with the um with the timing over here okay so i would say between 10 and 15 minutes that's good and then give yourself a tiny little break okay and and you're gonna see the difference in the quality that you put in in the practice okay because we do we tend to do and achieve way more in very short periods of time rather than in long periods of time because the brain is gonna go like oh you know i have an hour to practice yeah that's okay i can just chill i can look at the computer i can look at my phone you know that's so in, maybe in that hour you don't really practice for an hour you practice for i don't know 20 minutes because the rest is just wasted time make sense so again 10 minutes five minutes essentially long period of practice broken down by a very short break this is gonna be so good because it's gonna keep you focused and you're gonna see way more progress in the long run, okay? So, how that helps, let me know how it goes, and I wish you a great day. Bye-bye, guys, bye. And one more thing, if you're looking for new ways, new approaches to becoming a really great saxophone player, we're hosting a virtual masterclass with legendary George Garzon. George Garzon is a Berkeley professor. He was the teacher of Branford Marsalis, Joshua Redmond, uh, Bob Reynolds, and many, many other amazing players. He's doing a masterclass on sound, embouchure, and um, improvisation. So if you're struggling with your playing, you just want to know more, you want to learn from one of the best teachers or one of the best saxophone players in the world, come to the masterclass because it's going to be an amazing experience with 
for any player of any level, beginner, intermediate, advanced, professionals, teachers, anyone. <laughs> so the link is here below in the description. Um, I'm, I really can't wait for this. It's going to be an amazing thing. Just learning from George is just, I cannot even think about it. It's just crazy. So really good. And uh, that's all. I wish you a great day, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you want, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.